Well, how do there, chums? This is I, Captain of the Steve's, and today, chums, I've got a video on No Man's Sky. Bit of a news video. Is it news? Is it hype? Is it speculation? It's a little bit of everything. Um, I've got a bit of man flu, so if I do cough, I will try and hit mute as quick as I can. But I'm not a well bunny. Anyway, let's jump on over onto the Tinterwebs and let me show you what we've got. So the internal branch has been updated just a minute ago. One minute ago. Well, this was an hour ago. So it's an hour and one minute ago, I should say. Yes, there we are. Anyways, do I think this is an update, people? Or do I think it's patch fixes? Well, you're probably thinking, patch fixes for what, Captain Up the Steves? Well, for the expedition, because at the moment Voyagers is still running and we did come across some very odd, weird bugs. So one of those weird and odd bugs that I came across inside of my playthrough was planets inside the discoveries acting rather squiffy, people. So here you go. Let me play you this clip here. I'll show you what I mean. I want to go to the system that had... I wonder what system that's discovered by Hello Games, not that one this one and I want to go back to that planet there okay so this is in system Sepetin RN X22 okay coolio and Obsipia Prime all right fine let's go see if we can do that station 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 space station there we go Sipia hold on but that say current system it does yeah it says current system it's broken uh, what the fudge? Yeah, broken. One second, people. And now okay. it's lost its so title the together. I'm in now is this one? All right. So I want to go to this system. Mm -hmm. Why is it still showing SEPTRN then? That's weird. And look, it's lost the title Prime. altogether. Yeah. Look, gone. What the devil is going on? Okay, I have no idea what's going on there, people, but it's it's the very first system that we wanted to go to. So the Discoveries page is completely foobarred to fudge inside of the expedition. The next thing that's broken is this planet is a tectonic planet, which is a lava planet. It is not a paradise planet. It's called Rabber Bridge, and as you enter it, it pops a badge for the most perfect paradise planet inside of this expedition. I landed on loads of paradise planets. Ones that actually said paradise planet where it says tectonic planet. And I didn't pop the badge. I landed on I'm a... at the opposite side again. We go jump back through the old portal. And we've arrived at Kated. Now, I'm, I'm flying to a planet called Raver Bridge. Or Raider Bridge. Right here. Uh, so, in Discoveries, Raider Bridge, Radar Bridge. Now... On my first playthrough, all the footage I lost, I flew to this and I'm fairly sure it popped me the, the perfect planet milestone. And I think it could be a bug, but I watched Scottish Rod's video. He went to this planet the same thing happened to him. So let's see if it happens again, people, because maybe Hello Games have just fudged up. Now, I mean, this was the sort of thing that was annoying me in the first Expedition playthrough, not the Redux. Creatures weren't appearing on the planets you're there that you'd expect them to. I mean, you would think that if this is a lava world, which it is because it's got pyrite on it, hopefully we'll get the highest pH blood creature here as well. We'll see. Let's see if it pops the most perfect planet, which this is not the perfect planet. This should not be classed as a paradise planet. Most perfect. Yeah. What the actual fudge. This is not a paradise world. As you can see, it's a lava planet. It, it shouldn't have popped that milestone. It shouldn't have popped that badge. That's freaking insane. There we go. Another sort of thing that needs to be fixed inside of Voyagers. And then this it was really annoying. So this is where you have to go to the relic and you have to unearth a treasure. But you can't because someone has built a base on the actual relic site. Even though Hello Games says that they've patched this like a billion quizillion times. Well, let's let's claim that badge then. Bam, bam, bam. Badge claimed. Ah, what the fudge happened there? Every time you pop a badge when you're underwater, or if you're walking and you pop a badge, it either carries on walking or you sink like a ton of bricks. It's another little mini bug, but I'm hoping they fix that because it's freaking annoying. Especially if you're about to run out of oxygen. You pop a badge and then you sink and then you do run out of oxygen. Didn't happen to me, but it could. Okay. Okay, I need to I need to get some oxygen like pronto. Yeah, look, I was nearly I dead the there. Kelp sacks. You know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to put a beacon there so I can get back to it. Uh-oh. 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 I'll skip it on a little bit. Um, but, yeah. 
I just go up in the in, in the, under the water in the end. Yeah, I knew I'd need it. Damn it. Okay. All right. Here we are. Let's swim down here. Yeah. Could have done but, that. Look, thing I spot the purple there. icon there. Has in someone a minute. put a poxy base on top of this? Yeah, they have. Oh, they have. Oh, yeah. You idiot. I'm I'm probably not going to be able to dig up the ground now. Mm -hmm. All right. Fine. Let's give it a go anyway. There is a way I'm around it. To report the base. I don't like reporting bases, but if they put them in stupid places, it's the only thing you can do. Here we go. This should give me a trident key. Trident key. Because we've got to get the underground aquatic treasure. All right, so here we go. Let's see if we can dig it up. I bet we can't because of this base that's on it. Yeah. No, look. Okay, right, if you get that, people, go into here and go to report base. Continue. And although that it says to use yeah. R2 to take a picture of the base, you actually have to press X. So there's there's lots of little broken -y bits inside of this Voyager's expedition. There's a lot of little broken -y bits in No Man's Sky, let's face it. So I honestly think that this internal build is going to be patches and fixes for Voyager. I don't think it's going to deliver much else in, but we'll see when it goes over to public or experimental and we'll see exactly what it does. Hopefully we'll have some sort of patch notes page to deliver in. But I just want to put it out to you that I think it's going to be for patches and bugs. I do think this year is going to be a big year for No Man's Sky, mainly because Sean Murray, in his own words, said that it's going to be a big year. But not only that, I'm fairly confident that previous year, in October, we would have been getting an update of the part four of the ARG arc. The reason I say that, a few content creators were approached by a third party asking if they would do a sponsored video for Hello Games, and then that got recanted on, got retracted and disappeared. But it was for October. That's why quite a lot of people jumped on the hype train, myself included. But I honestly think that Sean Murray has probably thought, well, let's just package this up, let's deliver something in big next year, and let's give it like you know a, a massive final push before we launch our new game. So that's what I think is going to happen. I think we might see a, a gib emoji during 2024. I know that's a risky thing to say, and I know it's probably a over hyping, but at the same time, I kind of feel that it could be possible. Also, we only had 11 expeditions, we only had three last year, which is a bit different to our normal four, and they're supposed to be seasonal, one per season, so we missed an expedition. I'm wondering whether the next expedition is going to be the expedition of all expeditions. I think it might be freaking awesome, the 12th expedition. I was thinking maybe they might give us 16 expeditions, just because of the whole 16-16 thing, but I think inside of the next update they might give us the ability to rerun expeditions when we wish, is what I'm thinking. But we shall see. We shall see what comes in the year 2024. Sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think would make this year a big year for No Man's Sky. What is it that you feel still hasn't been delivered that could be delivered inside of 2024? I might go through the comments, look at breaking a few out, maybe do a follow-up video on what people's wishes are for 2024. So get typing. I guess. Until next time, people. Slid to Monday. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.